हे गाइस दिस इज श्रद्धा एंड यू आर वाचिंग नॉलेज सेंटर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड डिसोसिएशन कर्व इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई एक्सप्लेन्ड अबाउट द ऑक्सीजन डिसोसिएशन कर्व एंड दिस लेक्चर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड डिसोसिएट from the body so due to the metabolic reaction the cell produce carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide transported in the blood to the in the blood to the lungs okay so how the carbon dioxide produce in the uh, cell in the cell there is a one reaction going to be done glucose combined with oxygen and make atp Uh, produce energy and produce one more gas acidic gas that is called co2 which is not important for our body so we have to pr it's a release from our body so in this uh, uh, process there is a three stages so that we can exhale carbon dioxide from the body so how it uh, has to be done there is a three stages one is a transportation of carbon dioxide in the plasma second transportation of carbon dioxide in the bicarbonate form and third one is the transportation of carbon dioxide in the form of karma amino compound okay main uh, means uh, when uh, uh, tissue produce carbon dioxide okay and blood carry the oxygen and uh, release to the tissue now now the carbon dioxide which is present in the tissue is uh, uh, dissolved in the blood so in the blood there is a two compound present plasma and the other parts like uh, rbc wbc and platelets so in the plasma how many carbon dioxide dissolve just 5 to 10% dissolve in the plasma and uh, how many oxygen dissolve just a 3% i explained about in last lecture okay so carbon dioxide the so plasma is more compatible with the dissolve with the carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide dissolve uh, approximate 5 to 10% in the plasma and uh, um, through the plasma it carry to the lungs and uh, to the alveoli and excrete out from the body second uh, uh, form transport of the carbon dioxide in the bicarbonate form means in the blood there is a liquid present it is called plasma in the plasma there is a some uh, liquid part present in some is a hard part present in the liquid part uh, there is a 99% of water present so carbon dioxide combined with the water co2 combined with water and make h2co3 bicarbonate okay carbonic acid okay and this carbonic acid h2co3 further bifurcate to two ions h plus ion and h2co3 ion okay so h2co3 the bicarbonate so this bicarbonate is a transport through the blood how so in the blood uh, there is a rbc present and in the rbc there is a hemoglobin present so in the hemoglobin the globin chain attach with the carbon dioxide and h plus ion so hemoglobin ha uh, has to release uh, oxygen hai na means uh, four oxygen uh, attached to the hemoglobin so one uh, of carbon dioxide attached with hemoglobin and one hydrogen ion so hemoglobin has to release uh, two oxygen so hemoglobin release one oxygen and uh, in the rbc h plus ion attach with the globin chain h plus ion these h plus ion attach with the globin chain okay so uh, means uh, carbon dioxide attach with the so h plus ion also attach with the hemoglobin now um, excess is the h2 h co3 uh, ions present in plasma so if this reaction going to be done again and again so h2 h co3 ion become increase in the plasma so this is uh, um, very dangerous so that's why this release to the plasma from the rbc okay so this ion is h co3 release in the plasma and which is when it release to the plasma so there is when it diffuse in the plasma so rbc become less negative charged to neutralize this charge so chloride ion okay this chloride ion now diffuse in the rbc from the plasma so this process is called the hamburger effect or chloride shift okay uh, what is chloride shift when h2co3 ion release in the plasma and chloride ion diffuse in the rbc from the plasma this is called the chloride shift this has to be done in the carbon dioxide dissociation curve okay so this is all about the bicarbonate form co2 transportation now uh, transportation of uh, co2 in the form of carbamino compound 
what is a carbon amino compound approximately 23 percent uh, uh, travel co2 travel in the form of the carbon amino compound so it is happens in the rbc okay the carbon dioxide will attach to the globin chain means amino group there is an amino group present in the hemoglobin so this attached with the carbon dioxide and form a carbon amino compound this is hemoglobin amino group of the hemoglobin this attached with the carbon dioxide and make a hb and a cooh this is called carbon amino hemoglobin now oxygen also released from the hemoglobin okay means just understand uh, when we inhale oxygen so hemoglobin attached with the oxygen for hemoglobin chain heme pro heme heme compound attached with the oxygen and go to the tissue the here in the tissue produce a carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide first carbon dioxide uh, release in the plasma second it form a bicarbonate in the uh, so uh, co2 attached with the hemoglobin and h plus ion attached to the globin chain and now it attached to a carbamino compound so this reaction is slowly then formation of carbamino uh, carbonic acid in rbc so 70 percent transport of the bicarbonate form and 23 percent transport of the carbamino form in the hemoglobin and there is a two effect found one is a halden effect second is a bohr effect halden effect uh, uh, when it uh, they both have change the affinity of the hemoglobin means hemoglobin have the affinity to attach to the carbon dioxide and oxygen both of it so when it attached to the carbon oxygen means halden effect uh, has to be done in the lungs where oxygen is in higher quantity means if oxygen increase so it decrease the affinity of the hemoglobin for the carbon dioxide and then bohr effect it change affinity of the hemoglobin and it has to be done in the tissue where carbon dioxide in higher quantity so if carbon dioxide increases so it decrease the affinity of the hemoglobin for the oxygen means when oxygen increases so hemoglobin uh, doesn't attach with the carbon dioxide so it is called the halden effect and when carbon dioxide increases this is found in the tissue so it decrease the affinity of the attachment of the hemoglobin with the oxygen this is the graph and this is graph of partial pressure of carbon dioxide this is just a blur but uh, i didn't do anything okay showing this is a partial pressure of carbon dioxide and this is a ox carbon dioxide content so it is uh, the graph and it is uh, between the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide to the amount of carbon dioxide carried in the blood so when the partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases so amount of carbon dioxide carried in the blood is increases so the difference of partial pressure of carbon dioxide in venous and arterial blood this is the arterial blood and this is the venous blood so the difference between partial pressure of carbon dioxide in venous and arterial blood is very less it is just about 40 to 45 mmhg so this is the curve this is the linear curve this is the arterial point this is the venous point so this is all about the carbon dioxide dissociation curve okay means means mainly carbon dioxide travel with the blood in the blood there is a 5 to 10 percent travel with the plasma and except 90 percent travel with the rbc in the rbc there is a two form one form is bicarbonate form that is 70 percent and carbon amino compound that is 23 percent there is a two effect first is a hamburger effect that is very important and chloride shift means h2co3 release in plasma and chloride ion diffuse in the rbc from the plasma second is the halden effect and bohr effect these both are very important this is the graph and so factor affect the carbon dioxide dissociation curve that is uh, affinity of the oxygen when affinity of the oxygen increases then the, this curve dissociation and then present of the dpg and temperature so this is all about the carbon dioxide dissociation curve if you like it then please subscribe my channel comment it and share with your friend more and more and uh, thank you so much for watching